Hi, I'm Kirsten Meekin from Nao Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you our collection of pinks that you use on the nail bed. I'm going to do it on these little tips. These little foam thingy me bobs are really good. They're called thingy me bobs, I think. What are they called? They're just like, you know. <laughs> no idea. I, I, think they, I think they class as nail art displays. But um, I'm going to use these instead of a real person. You just put them on the tip so you can see exactly how the product applies. So we're going to start off with warm beige. Oh, look how empty this is getting. Do you think I use it a lot? So this is our deepest camouflaging colour. So by that I mean it's it's like a foundation. So it, it covers any imperfections. So you can extend the nail bed with it and all that. And it also gives quite a rich, deep colour to the nail bed. So I'm just going to apply it to the tip so you can see exactly what the colour's like. You can see the consistency and the ratio and all that jargon. So I clean my brush, let that bead settle. And you can see that it's really easy to manipulate and move around. The liquid that I'm using today is Max Adhesion. So you can see it's quite a warm colour, hence the name, warm beige. So I'm cleaning my brush. And in that time, it starts to polymerize. I love this color. Definitely use this on somebody who has olive skin or wears a lot of tan, fake tan. So it matches a little bit better. So Adam has olive skin. You would wear this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I would wear that. Yeah, all day. All day. All day. So there you are, that is warm beige. I'll show you the next one. Another favourite of mine that I use loads in my videos, which is natural beige. With warm beige and natural beige, they're both great for extending the nail bed out. We will put the colours next to each other so you can see the difference as well. And if you bleed the back of your brush out as you pick the bead up, you'll get even more pigment from the powder. So I'll show you what I mean on the next nail that we'll do about bleeding that back of the brush out. So you can see, I've actually got this colour on. You have. I have. I like it. And the next one we have is Soft Beige. This is a little bit paler, but it also covers really well. So I'm going to bleed the back of the brush out. Place it on, give it a press, clean my brush. So as I pressed into that bead, I didn't push any more liquid into the bead because I bled the back of the brush out. So it gives you more pigment. Now this is also a gorgeous colour and really good for covering a natural nail and giving it that flawless finish. Great for extending the nail bed. So that's soft beige. And then we've got Cameo. 
This is a paler colour. This is a lot paler than the others, but it's still great as a foundation cover for that nail bed. Still easy to to use. You know, you press it where you want it and it stays. also got really good pigment the wetter that you use the product the more transparent it will be the drier hence bleeding the back of the brush out it'll have more pigment and then we have porcelain. So we're getting paler again. This is a cooler colour. This would be great for a free edge if you're doing a natural set and they want that natural colour at the end of the nail, at that tip. And then we've got bisque. Bisque. Not biscuit. Bisque. I mean, it's not as tasty. It's like a French cooking term, isn't it? Is it? Bisque. bisque. Yeah, it's like, a, it's a, I'm sure, a bisque is like a soup. Really? Yeah, I'm sure. Somebody comment below and tell us. <laughs> we could use Google, but it's much more fun to use you. Yeah. Slightly more pink than porcelain. It's a really nice colour just on its own, to be honest. It's a very soft, natural pink. But it is really good. Also, with regards to pigment, you can extend the nail bed with this colour as well. So that's bisque. We're going to move on now to shall. Beside the sea, side, beside the sea. So again, this is great for extending the nail bed. This is more pink, you can see. This is gorgeous on its own as well. This would be really nice to make 3D flowers out of as well. Because it's such a nice pink. I really like that one. I'm going to use that one a little bit more. Then we've got Dramatic Pink, which is a transparent pink. So if you want to give that natural nail plate a little bit more of a pink flushed look, this would be ideal. Great for competition nails. If you're doing pink and white competition nails, this colour is great for that. Very easy to work with. And then we've got True Pink, which is, again, a transparent pink. But it's a cooler pink.
And then we've got intense pink. This is gorgeous. It is, in, it is transparent. So obviously the thinner you put this on, the more transparent it is. The thicker you put it on, the more sheer it will be. So for those people that want a really intense pink, this is perfect. So we've got warm beige here. You can see that is your richest, deepest beige that we have. Natural beige, soft beige, cameo, porcelain, and then we go to the more cooler colours. And you've got bisque, shell, dramatic pink, true pink, and intense pink. There is a pink for every woman out there. So I hope that's give you a bit of an insight into the different pinks that we've got. And these are predominantly for the nail plate. So you can extend with them. Um, you can do a natural tip and overlay with them. They all have their different uses. And I hope that's helped you. All these products are in the description box below. So you can check the links out there. Don't forget to look for us on Facebook and Instagram. And I will see you in the next very educational video. Bye-bye! I'm Kirsty Meekin from Neo Nails. Ne Neo Nails? Neo Nails? Maybe I should pronounce the actual letters in the word. Neo Nails. Neo Nails. <laughs>